Hello, this is Max Williams, and today I'm in Eastern Henrico, and we're going to take a look at a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath home, government-owned, and it is $165,000. Definitely a, a very good price on this house. Uh, just needs very, very minor TLC, nothing major. Uh, this is a relatively nice newer subdivision. Uh, when I say newer, built in 2004. Uh, this particular home was and uh, definitely shows good pride of ownership uh, nice size yards here in this neighborhood uh, houses are uh, nicely spaced apart and um, I think this definitely represents a, a good value uh, so without further ado we're gonna go on in and take a look and see what this home has to offer uh, one of the things that I definitely like about it is it is a low maintenance uh, exterior as you can see we've got vinyl siding uh, we've got soffits that are vinyl uh, replacement windows uh, so very low maintenance exterior very few painted surfaces uh, nice brick porch here this is fairly unusual typically don't see production builders doing brick like this on a front porch I imagine that may have been uh, an upgrade okay as we come in the front door we have a wood foyer uh, very nice wood floors that are in actually pretty good condition and the wood transitions into this formal dining room We've got a nice bright bay window give you a nice view of the front yard and Pretty nice formal dining space there <clears throat> When we come in we do have a two-story foyer, so this makes it a nice open entrance uh, straight ahead we have the entrance to the family room and here to the left we have uh, what is a, a formal living room this could also double if somebody really needed it as a home office uh, could uh, kind of pull double duty uh, or even a library or a uh, little den we're gonna go straight on into the family room here in the family room we do have a gas log fireplace which is the focal point here on this wall the home fortunately is wired for surround sound we've got four pre-wired speakers there's our switch there for our gas logs and additional speakers and i'm going to swing around here to give you an idea what it looks like from the reverse angle it is open to the kitchen uh, and in the kitchen we do have high definition laminate it looks like granite but it's actually laminate and a very good look there nice open floor plan we do have a coat closet here that's relatively close to the front entrance and we have linoleum walkway carpet in the actual family room this carpet probably could be replaced with a remnant it's showing a little bit of signs of wear and uh, wouldn't be very expensive to replace here towards the rear we have an informal dining space with a window that looks back over the backyard and here is our look from the opposite corner this kitchen actually would facilitate an island you could put an island right here and that would give some additional counter space might make it a little bit more functional uh, it is ready for a electric range the black microwave is already in place goodness who we got some serious grease on that microwave but uh, if it works, grease is easy to remedy. Fortunately, they left their washer and dryer, so we do have washer and dryer already in the property. We've got space here for a nice refrigerator with ice maker. Here we can see our linoleum has come up a little bit. There are a couple of other places where the linoleum looks like it's wrinkled and coming up. I would just go ahead, rip it out, and replace it, uh, especially here towards going into the garage we've got some linoleum issues no big deal but something that probably should be done we do have a one car garage here would have pedestrian door and in the garage we do have our Bryant gas furnace with central air once again this is a 2004 home so all of our systems are relatively new and uh, that of course our gas water heater our electrical is 200, 200 amp service, more than adequate for this home. All right, let's go in and take a look at the rest of the first floor. 
what first floor would be complete without a powder room and that's exactly what we have here it's a little tight but I'm gonna swing around here and give you an idea of what it looks like it will serve the purpose we also have another closet this is actually a pantry uh, really close to our kitchen for additional food storage and once again we're coming back through this formal dining room I'm gonna go upstairs and take a look and see what we've got up there up our winding staircase uh, this carpet here in the walkway is marginal it might be salvageable it needs to be restretched a couple places but uh, we've got a nice open floor plan here on the second level as well we're gonna take a look at the master last I'm gonna take you into what was probably a little girl's room uh, with it being bright pink and the Disney themed castle she had a really really nice large window here a lot of light floods in to this room so I bet she wasn't able to really sleep late mother nature would uh, definitely wake her up with all the sunlight that flows in here nice closet there for a little girl or a very special little boy and our hall bath we've got a full bath here tub shower enclosure and uh, we've got a little fish thing going on here of course if fish aren't your thing you can go ahead and snatch them down repaint and be good as new navy blue I assume this was probably a little boy's room and he also had a very unique room uh, definitely a lot of light coming through his window he's got a few interesting roof line features here and he actually has a little bit of a walk-in closet um, really unique little shape there for that closet he definitely wouldn't have as many clothes as the princess next door so it probably suited his needs just fine okay let's take a look at the rest of our bedrooms here on the first excuse me the second floor this is probably the most modest of the bedrooms uh, this room would also make a nice home office or just simply a storage room uh, but it does however have probably one of the larger closets of the bedrooms that's probably a good uh, eight foot closet there all right now the master after we have a look at our linen closet that's also here on the second level nice open floor plan here on the second level and this of course is our master we've got windows on two sides of this master this master is on the end of the home and we do need carpet restretch here this carpet once it's stretched probably is salvageable if it were steam cleaned uh, this is remnant size so it might be smart to just go ahead and rip it out and replace nice large double vanity plenty of storage here and we've got a unique shower I'm not sure what they were thinking when they did this shower uh, you would need your own shower head though for some reason that's missing uh, here in this shower it's tough to tell scale on the video but this space here where you actually stand is only about 18 inches you've got a, a, a bench there and then a bench there and about 18 inches in which to stand so that's a real unusual layout that they did for that shower. I'm not sure what the designers were thinking but to make up for it you've got a jetted tub so who needs a shower when you have a jetted tub and then you can take a bath and look up at the moon at the same time how romantic oh, I love my job this is just so special all right now this is probably one of the best features of this house this is our walk-in closet now this closet doesn't look like a closet because the previous owners uh, allocated the shelving if you can see those brackets there that is what used to hold the shelving in this closet this is actually about a 10 foot by 10 foot walk-in closet it is disproportionately huge for this size of house we typically don't see 10 foot by 10 foot walk-in closets 
for houses in this price range or this size category. So this is an absolutely huge walk-in closet with a full window, which is also very rare in this price range. So if you have a lot of clothes, if you are a Mel DeMarcos wannabe, uh, or a man that has to live with one, then this house definitely would suffice as far as the closet space. Last but not least, we're gonna go take a look at our backyard. We've got a deck on the back. The house also conveys with a complimentary swing set. So if you have any small children or adults that wanna act like small children, that might work for them right there. Nice open backyard. There's not a lot of fencing here in this particular part of the neighborhood. We've got some privacy here in the back. We've got a wood line that gives you some privacy uh, on the rear. A little bit of a slope, nothing major. And I'm going to give you a shot here of the back of the house. So you've got a pretty open type uh, layout here in this whole section of the neighborhood. Uh, if this house is of interest to you, or if you are interested in receiving a free email list of bank and government owned homes, I would be happy to send it to you. The way my list is set up, as soon as a home hits the market, it's immediately sent to you. The homes that are good deals do not stay on the market very long, so you want to be amongst the first to take a look at them. That is what my list does, get you in these homes very, very quickly so you can take advantage of them if the house is right for you. I'm a firm believer that I don't sell homes, the homes sell themselves. Hopefully this video gave you an idea of what the floor plan is like, some of the good and bad points of this home. And if you're relocating to this area, I'd be happy to do custom videos for homes that you are interested in. It makes the process a whole lot easier if you can narrow down exactly what does or does not work for you even before you set foot in Richmond. I'd be happy to do that for you. My name is Max Williams. 402-7788. I can be reached via my website, richmondhouseinfo.com. Thanks so much for taking the tour with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to speaking with you soon.